But why are you having a Mexican flag, not American flag, I wonder? If you want to stay in America, would it be kind of logical having an American flag? A little confused. I came from Russia. I wouldn't walk around, you know, with a Soviet flag. I'm, I'm, I'm very proud to represent them. But you want to be an American, right? Maybe you are an American. But I'm proud to be, to represent my parents are from Mexico. They came here. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out what is Y P E P O S. If you say it out loud, it's like white people. Like you're white people. You're sick of white people? Yeah. Oh, I'm sick of the I'm sick of white people bullshit. You don't look colored to me. That is I mean I'm still sick of like their discrimination I mean, and their white supremacy and all their bullshit like but what was, what's wrong with white people? I mean, who is better than white people then? If, if, if you're sick of white people, then there should be other people who are better than white. I mean, logically speaking, no? no? I'm saying I'm sick of their bullshit. But they are bullshitting every single white person, I mean, using well, your... Well, like white people, so that's kind of like... And who is not bullshitting? So white people are bullshitting, meaning other people are not bullshitting, right? I'm just no, trying to I'm... see logical kind of, you know, line, so, line of I mean, thought. I think as a society, uh -huh. uh, like white people are culturally kind of brainwashed to see themselves as above like immigrants, people of color, and then we have also like systemic issues with like the prison to um, the prison pipeline, and there's a lot of like systemic racism and discrimination here. Uh -huh. Like that's all maintained and perpetuated by white people. White people Whether around the world or just in this country? Well, I'm sure it's you know I'm not gonna extrapolate like U.S. politics to everywhere, but. No, but we're talking about white people. White people live around the world, Asians live around the world, blacks well, live around the world. So you kind of single out white people. That's why I'm a white person. I, you know, kind of don't, wouldn't subscribe to, you know, what you term bullshit. As far as my reasoning is concerned, I'm just wondering, and you're a white person, so, you know, what makes you different from you, for instance, or so, vice versa? So I'm saying, like, white people's bullshit is, like, when white people don't stand up for their rights and they don't dismantle the institutional, like, I mean, white people don't stand for white people's rights, you mean? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I get it, I love it. <laughs> I mean, but, but seriously, uh, I mean, no, I am very I'm, I'm passing by, see white people, I'm a white person, it kind of offends me, you know, well, why, why do you think that I'm a bullshitter? So why are you opting into this? Like, do you feel like you're bullshitting people? Do I don't think like so. I think that I'm fair. So So when you say white people so in I general... Need to like back, let, like, let's sure. zoom out a little bit. Sure. So do you think that there are systems in place in America that white people get better treatment than immigrants, people of color? Perhaps, but I mean, just, just are, the opposite, that does the, just the opposite works at universities, for instance. So, okay, but I'm talking about like, let's just look at like our country's history. So it was founded on white supremacy. How, and, by who? Uh, like European white people who came over here. And who, who, who was here before white people? Uh, the indigenous people. And how different were they from the white people? I mean, was it better than white people? Um, or worse than so white people? this pe isn't about who's better and who's worse. This is about standing up for justice and injustice. And a lot of white people are in different in instances of injustice. And they're getting treatment and opportunities that other people aren't because of the systemic white supremacy that's in place in this country. And a lot of people who are white are oblivious or ignorant or since like these kind of things don't affect them they just like so the know, white people all off through life instead of the, the most important thing but white supremacy that does exist in this country and if it's not impacting you that's because like you're not at, on the like 
receiving end of discrimination? Well, I lived in other part of the world where, where I was on the receiving end of discrimination. So, so I'm very, very, so very, very, you, very, very familiar with discrimination. Do you want those people who are discriminating against you to like stop? And maybe of course. Like, oh, absolutely. So like, absolutely. In, in our country, it's of course. Like people who are discriminating against putting policies but in place and have historically but, benefited from racism. Yeah, but so it's up to white people to speak up and stand out and talk to other white people about their privilege and getting them involved but, to dismantle those systems. Do you mind backing up a little bit? When, when you talk about the foundations of this country, mm -hmm. which we all know the history with Columbus, uh, you know, discovering mm -hmm. America and stuff like that. So we're talking about the period circa well, like 13th century, yeah, 14th century, right? All the way back. Okay, so, so, uh, okay. so uh, just one second. So when uh, the Europeans came over here, what was uh, in this part of the hemisphere? I mean, we're talking about the entire hemisphere. I mean, what was here? I mean, were Incas kind of fair? Use the word fair. I mean, were Incas well, this, fair? I, I'm not an Inca. That's not my cultural history. I'm a white person who has benefited from systemic racism since colonization and since slavery and since like Jim Crow era. I get the benefit. I'm, on, I'm born into a pipeline of success. I don't have people like, you know, telling me to go back to my own country. I don't like get discriminated with housing and jobs. And it's because I'm white. And that's something a lot of people don't realize that they're benefiting from because they are oblivious that, you know, but other people are, are getting discriminated against. Do you believe in civilizations? So, so I'm not talking about anything on like a DNA level. Uh -huh. This is a cultural, like systemic problem that has been part of our country since its founding and it never went away and the people who are maintaining that are white people they're on the top of the social pyramid here uh -huh. and so i think it's their responsibility uh -huh. to dismantle it and engage and like stand up for justice and having a social hierarchy where people of color immigrants poor people are treated worse than and discriminated against is wrong and i think we can all agree with that and but so i think that whoever if is benefiting and perpetuating it it's their responsibility to stop but I think, I think if that were the case, again, logically speaking, how could possibly a racist country elect a black president? Uh, how, how is I'll it possible? I'll tell you how, how? We did it. And if you don't understand how like, there are different like, mindsets within a country and everyone's uh -huh. like, responsible for their so own. I'm a Russian immigrant. I came from USSR originally. So when we talk about discrimination, I know so, what discrimination is. So like, we, we elected a black president, but yes. um, I white racist. people. White people, by the way, because yeah, statistically some, like, it's impossible. Some, some, like some white people are like with it. You voted for Obama, I'm sure. You're a white yeah, person, like, right? Some white people are you know, understanding these kind of systemic things. Uh -huh. And some people, a lot of Some people don't. don't. It's a personal level. But see, that, that's the fundamental difference. I came from the USSR region. I'm Jewish. Mm -hmm. Okay? So when we talk about the USSR, the fundamental difference between, let's say, government-sponsored anti-Semitism versus personal anti-Semitism is a completely different story. Are so they like, racist on the personal level? Yes. Is there racist on the government level over here? No. In the USSR, as a Jew, a lot of doors. A lot of doors were so, close to me, to my relatives. I know it from first-hand experience. So, so the, when the black became a, a, the president of the United States, I mean, to me, that, it's a testimony that there's no racism in this country that, on the on the I mean, government like, level. Personally, of course, there. Every single black person here tells me personally, like they've not dis experienced discrimination. Then I, I believe I, that racism is out of this country. When I see like a proportionate and like realistic representation of like all different types of people spread out evenly like then I'll believe that systemic racism Did, is okay so so let, let's go from the top down well I actually we have don't have time for this we have to go. my mom is sitting so in town she's like right. flooding from the thing like but I mean just Google I, I'm, Google Google uh, okay I use logic <laughs>
So what's the thing with this wall? I mean, you mentioned this Mexican Israeli wall. I mean, it would have cut off. I was kind of a little bit confused. That, I think that was just it. That they just said that, you know, there's a wall around Gaza. They want to build a wall to Mexico. I think that was the only connection. But is it a good thing that Israelis build the wall? I mean, no, no, no. No. Why is that? Obviously not. I mean, the Palestinian were... people are getting killed. They're being starved. We all in Gaza. woke up to a nightmare. Just literally, Palestinian people suffering right now because of the wall. This protection. is about yeah, because they're being and closed. And 11 million in. undocumented immigrants being demonized, criminalized, and completely dehumanized by this fascist regime, because this is part of an entire fascist program, breeding white nationalism and white supremacy all around this country and trying to bring a qualitative difference to that. Trying to make it so that we cannot resist and so that this country is a, is a fascist America consolidated power. And it is beautiful and it is righteous to see every single person out here right now, everyone who is resisting all of these attacks on all of these different groups, especially immigrants. We unite with you and we stand with you. But we got to come back into the streets. We got to be in the streets and we got to stay in the streets. Whether it's for a week, whether it's for two weeks or a month or two months, we have to stay in the streets until our demand is met. That the Trump and Pence regime must go and this nightmare must end. As long as it takes, beginning on November 4th, people need to come together. Because right now, the way that this regime in power, Donald Trump, Mike Pence, Jeff Sessions, the way that they talk about immigrants is not that different from the way that Hitler scapegoated the Jews for Germany's economic problems. It is not that different. This is fascism, and yes, it can happen here. But every single person right here says no. Every single person right here knows that immigrants are full human beings and that we will stand with them as long as we have to until this regime is gone because we say no more of this. So November 4th, November 4th is the day it begins. People around the country taking to the streets determined not to leave until this entire regime is gone, day after day, night after night. This is what we are planning. Everyone go to refusefascism.org and become an organizer, become a leader. If you ever ask yourself, what would you be doing when Hitler came to power? What would you be doing during the civil rights movement or during the women's liberation movement? That's what you're doing right now. And so I know that every person here is taking a stand and every person here wants to become a leader and an organizer. And we need all of you. So go to refusefascism.org and I would like to invite everyone to raise their fist with me and we are going to take a pledge. No! 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 no. no. In the name of humanity! 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 We refuse! We refuse! To accept! To accept! A fascist America! Thank you, everybody. And now we have Emmanuel. Buenas tardes, todos. Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm going to speak in Spanglish because I want everyone to understand this. But whether we have DACA or not, our communities have been under attack. And that's a fact. I'm from the Bronx, and there are Dominicans, there are Dominicans out there who are constantly under attack. They get harassed by their landlords, they get told that they're cold, they're gonna, get, they're gonna get ice cold on them. That's what Dominicans, that's what Mexicans, that's what all undocumented people in the Bronx are facing in their homes, with Trump or without Trump. It's a fact that this system is guilty as hell. It's a fact that this system 
is a criminal system. This system is a system that criminalizes our people, criminalizes whether you have DACA or not. We have to do something. We have to organize, we have to fight back. All right, so my name is Luis and I was born in El Salvador. I am one of 800,000 DACA recipients. I am one of 11 million immigrants. I am a leader. I am a student. I am a volunteer. I am a worker. I am gay. I am a future architect. I am unafraid to fight for my right to keep what I have earned. <clears throat> Above all, I am an American. I know my value and I will prove it. I believe in life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This is my pursuit, but our fight. Thank you. Give it up for Luis one more time. So in Cosecha, we don't say adios. We don't say hasta luego, we say hasta la huelga. <laughs> One more time. In cosecha, we don't say adios, we don't say goodbye, we don't say hasta luego, see you later, alligator. And we also don't say, we, what we do say is till the strike, hasta la huelga. So, let us chant that, let's chant that, like we mean it. Hasta que, hasta la huelga. 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 Yeah. So on September 5th was the DACA repeal. Yeah. 